Apple just killed their own Apple car, and it hasn't even been released yet. Just a few months ago in 2023, we got the news from Bloomberg that Apple had a 2026 release date scheduled for the Project Titan Apple car, with some major changes from the original design and price point. But now, Bloomberg published a new report about further changes that could spell the end of the project before it even officially launches. With many years of hype behind it, now followed by years of pullbacks, the Apple car is slowly turning from the most anticipated tech and auto release of our times to a potential laughingstock and spot on the company's all-in-all -all very clean track record. It's unfortunate for Apple themselves, because they haven't even created this hype themselves. Rather, brief leaks and obvious conclusions from patents and hirings have slowly built this hype naturally over the past couple of decades. We predicted some of the changes in our previous Apple Car video just a few weeks ago, but even more brutal cuts have been made since, and we will go over these changes one by one, as well as explain what this means for Apple going forward. Apple has continuously been lowering the price point of their car, from over $120,000 to below $100,000, and now probably even less. As the direction of the vehicle has shifted, the price has followed. Since Apple is well known for wanting consumers to pay a premium for the Apple logo and all that it entails, it would be quite surprising if they went much lower than the 100 k mark, but maybe they will surprise us there. Apple making a low-end consumer product as their first car would be quite something. As we mentioned a few weeks back, lowering the cost of the vehicle is usually a great indicator that features will disappear or be scaled back as well, especially for a company like Apple that prefer to release products packed with features, since their customers are people that want the best of the best for the highest prices on the market. Surely we all remember the $1,000 monitor stand from a while back, so it's pretty clear that Apple wouldn't reduce the price of their very first electric car unless they absolutely had to, in order to justify a more limited set of features. Another thing that has changed is the car's level of autonomy, since initially, Apple were aiming to revolutionize the auto industry by making the world's first level five fully autonomous car. They have now downgraded the self-driving further to level two plus, the same level as Tesla and most modern EVs. We predicted this previously as well, but it is a bit sad to hear it actualized. Of course, level five autonomy has often been said by many experts to be a few years away at least, but Apple not pushing the boundary much at all here will probably be disappointing to certain hardcore fans. We have talked plenty on this channel about autonomy levels, but just to clarify here, level two plus autonomy still requires the driver's full attention. So it is not really self-driving as much as very complex driving assistance. The most important announcement, however, is the updated release date. The new mentions of a 2028 release date rather than the previous 2026 date could very well be the final nail in the coffin for Apple's car, and it hasn't even come out yet. This project started back in 2014, but former Apple staff have told tales of Steve Jobs wanting to create an Apple car all the way back in 2008. This would mean that the Apple car has been conceptualized for 20 years by the time the new release date hits. A lot can change in just a few years in the EV industry, so waiting this long to actually produce something has to be a massive resource drain. Not that they are hurting for funds or anything. You have to give Apple credit though, since they have kept a tight lid on this project for soon to be 20 years. Of course, delaying a product to make sure that it is the best that it can possibly be is usually going to create a better end result. But since the current EV industry is very much in a developing phase, where everyone is rushing to create the latest, safest, and most impressive technology possible for their cars, waiting another four years to release a product on par with current generation vehicles doesn't bode well for Apple. While other companies in the industry are getting their repetitions in and getting that real experience in creating vehicles for everyday use, Apple could fall further and further behind their competition. And that's before they even fully announce a viable product at all. Perhaps they have downgraded their first car so much in order to just dip their feet in the water before they fully commit to this industry. But the longer they wait, the further away their real flagship car could be. And maybe, just maybe, it might be too late by then. But what do you think? Can the Apple car recover from this? Or is it finished before it even started? Will Apple release a standard car with nothing new to offer? Or will they find other ways of revolutionizing the auto industry? Let us know in the comments down below.
For more information and updates about Apple, EV giants, and everything else tech, make sure to subscribe to the Tech Oasis channel. And check this video out next to see how NVIDIA is partnering with some of China's biggest EV makers to outcompete even Tesla.